This video will show you how to record a 12 lead EKG. Introduce yourself, verify your patient, and explain the procedure to your patient. A 12 lead EKG is also known as a 12 lead ECG and also an electrocardiogram. This test will gather information from 12 different areas of the heart. This test will measure the electrical activity of your patient's heart to show whether or not it is working normally. There are many types of machines to run this test, so it is very important to make sure that you follow the manufacturer's directions for your EKG machine. Ask the patient to disrobe from the waist up and remove clothing from the lower legs. Assist the patient onto the treatment table and cover the patient with a drape sheet. Explain to the patient that the opening of the cape should be in the front. Provide your patient some privacy so they can get undressed. Input all of the information needed into the machine. Wash your hands. When you go into the room, your patient should be lying flat on their back. If they're wearing pants, their pant legs should be lifted up. The EKG leads are like stickers. The best way for them to stick is to make sure that the skin is dry and clean. I would recommend to have plenty of alcohol swab pads next to your bedside, as well as a razor. The alcohol pads are great to clean off any oil or residue on the skin, and the razor blades are great to shave any hair to ensure that the leads will stick properly to the skin. Here is a visual that will show a clear view that lists the placement of the chest electrodes. You will want to place them in the following order. V1, V2, V4, V3, V6, and lastly, V5. V1 is on the fourth intercostal space at the right sternal border. V2 is on the fourth intercostal space at the left sternal border. V4 is on the fifth intercostal space at the left midclavicular line. Next will be V3, midway between the V2 and V4 electrode positions. V6 will be located on the left midaxillary line horizontal with the V4 electrode position. V5 will be on the left anterior axillary line horizontal with the V4 electrode position. It's important to continue to check in on your patient and make sure that they are comfortable and okay with everything. Remind your patient not to move. The limb electrodes consist of two which would be located on each arm, and two located on each leg. Place the arm electrodes on the fleshy outer area of the upper arm, with the connectors pointing down. Leg electrodes should be placed on the fleshy inner area of the lower leg near the calf, with connectors pointing up. Connect the lead wire tips to the appropriate electrodes by clipping to the tab on the electrodes. Once everything is connected properly, press the auto button on your machine. Depending on the type of machine you have will depend on your next steps. For some, you will want to tear the tracing off from the machine. Others, it may electronically be sent to the provider right away. Alert the provider of any complaints or unusual findings. With provider approval, remove the lead wires from the limb electrodes. Remove the electrodes from the patient.
Once completed, assist your patient to a seating position and then down and off the table. Change the table paper and pillow cover and discard used disposables. Wash your hands and make sure to document in the patient's chart.